Hey, what's up? So Dance Dance Revolution was a popular arcade game where players have to match the arrows on screen to the corresponding ones on a footpad. I built this playable game in Minecraft using redstone, and in this video, I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to build it. Before we start, here's a full list of items you will need with a few extra ones added in, but with that said, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna build is a display for the Dance Dance Revolution game. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a 35 by 13 area and nine blocks of clearance on the top and nine blocks of clearance on the bottom. Now in the center of this, what we're gonna do is place nine lamps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then make sure it's centered. So I have nine right there. And then we're gonna go out 10 blocks from this lamp there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we have to place our four pressure plates down in this area. So one there, one out to the side, one out to the side, and one there. And place the four pressure plates there. And what you can also do is replace these with the glazed terracotta. So I'm doing that one there. You might have to go a few blocks out for this one. And then place that one. You don't need these blocks, but it's a nice addition to have on it. So now another block. And then one more on this side. And that's it for the display for now. We'll come back to in a bit. So from this lamp, we're gonna go up five blocks. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then go out five across. So there. And then we're gonna place three lamps. So one, two, three, three more blocks. And then three more lamps. And then two blocks on this side. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two. And now we're building out to the screen for the Dance Dance Revolution game. Now behind this lamp, we're just gonna place one block up like that, go up until you get to that point there, and then place a five by five grid of redstone lamps. Then have a block of separation in between both of those. And then five more redstone lamps in the grid, five by five. And then place the block down on the side. Perfect, that is done. And then you can fill out these bottom blocks if you want just to cover up the area. And that's it for this side. So now you just have to repeat this same thing on that side over there. Once you finish building out both the screens, next step we're gonna do is build out the arrows for the screens. So this one's gonna be the up arrow, down, left, and right. So we'll start with the up arrow first. So behind the screen, you wanna come there and place three blocks there, another three that way. Go behind it and break these blocks. Now on all these blocks, we're gonna place redstone torches. Perfect, so that's good for the up one. And now we're gonna do the down one the exact same way. So it's one, two, three. Break these. Place torches on those blocks. And for this one, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna just place one block up to the middle. And now just do the left and the right side. So this one follows the exact same pattern. We'll use red this time. Break these. Oops. Place the torch there, so that one's good. And the last one is on this side, so we'll use this color now. Now behind all these blocks, what we're gonna do is just place a repeater on this block. So I'll go back to the red. Go out four blocks like that, place a repeater, and then put redstone dust on these blocks. These two up there, these two at the bottom. That's good to go. And now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we're gonna place another block right here. Go out four blocks in the back, place a redstone repeater, then redstone dust on those blocks. Same thing on this one here. Just make them to pull out those. Going out four blocks, redstone repeater, redstone dust, dust on that block, dust on black block, and that one as well. And last over here, so we're going up, like 
that's two, three, two, one, two. Now the next step is building out the scoring bar. So in the back, what you wanna do is come down to the bottom and then break out these bottom blocks. Just so you have a little bit of room. Uh, this one we can replace. So on this block right over here, now we have to place down some random building blocks. So I'll go across going like this. So you get to that point. And on these blocks, you wanna paste your redstone repeaters. And now replace these blocks back here. Breaking that one there. And on all these blocks, you wanna put redstone dust down. Then break out a few blocks in this area. And down on this side, what we're gonna do is just place a block down, break that one, have a comparator going into this block, place a block on this side, then another block here with a comparator, and then another block behind that comparator. Now we just have to break out a couple more blocks in this area, just to give you a little bit more space. That should be enough. And now we have to place a hopper behind this block. So what you wanna do is have the hopper facing to that block, you can break that one because you don't need it. And have a hopper going to that one and that one over there. Perfect, that's good to go. And now we're just gonna go out two blocks, break that one there, place a redstone torch on that block on that side, and then place a couple more blocks on the bottom side over here. So just a couple down, just like that, and two more on this side. And now we have to have a comparator going into this block and the comparator facing this way and place another block down on the side here with redstone dust on this block. Then we just have to cut off this signal by placing a block up there. So that's good. And then we have to have redstone dust on these blocks. And then we have to cut off the signal again over here by placing another block on the top. Now next to this redstone torch, we just have to place a block down, break that one because we don't need it, and place a comparator on this block. And then a block under this one, break that one, have redstone dust on this block. A couple blocks out, one more down at the bottom, break this one. Then this block, you wanna place a redstone repeater facing this way with a block in front of it and a block going up. Break that one, nope, that one because we don't need it. Then redstone dust on this block and this block. And then next to that block, what we wanna do is place a dropper facing upwards, just like that, perfect. And now we have to place two more hoppers going into this dropper. So one there, one there. And the last step is just going back to the hopper that has this redstone torch next to it and placing in 52 eggs. Perfect, and that's this step all done. Now we're gonna work on the keypad for the game. And what you can also do is break these blocks and just place them with redstone lamps, just in case you want to have redstone lamps at the bottom. Now under it, what we're gonna do is match the color to the colors that we have in the back. So it's red, orange, blue, green. So I'm gonna go at the bottom and then under the pressure plates, place red, and then up is orange. And then we have down as blue, and then green on this side. Perfect, and then we place a redstone torch facing this way on that block, this way, in the middle on the blue block, so you just have to go there and place it, and then on the left side for the green block. Now all we have to do is go out a couple blocks, break those, place redstone dust on this block, go down a block, place redstone dust on there, and then go out seven blocks from here, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and place redstone dust on all these blocks. Perfect, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side for the red block. Perfect, and then go down, and then one, two, th three, four, five, six, seven, then redstone dust on all these. Perfect, and now for the orange one, what we have to do is just do the same thing, just for going down. So we're going down, breaking those blocks, place redstone dust on that, and then going till we get to the same line. Perfect, they're all in line, so redstone dust on these. And for the blue one, what we have to do is just place the exact same thing. Blocks going down, redstone dust there, then going out to the side until you get in line with these, and then redstone dust on all these blocks. Perfect, so that's that part of the arrows all set up. Then we have to make our way to the front of the blocks, and what we have to do is just place a block down like that, block up, break that one, and place a redstone repeater on that block. We have a redstone torch on that block with a block on top of it. And we have to repeat that for the other one. So the same thing, oops, that is blue. So block ups, break that. Redstone repeater facing that way. Redstone torch, 
block on top of it and do it two more times. Once you do it once, you can repeat it easily, no problem. So that's why this is actually fairly simple to build because it's just a pattern that you have to keep doing over and over again. Oops, break that one because we don't need it. Down, up, then a redstone repeater. Up like that, perfect. Uh, there's something that's not connected. So we missed redstone dust on that one. So place redstone dust on that one. Now it's all connected. So that's a way of double checking to make sure everything's connected. Now we just have to have building blocks going out. So I'll just replace those with some building blocks. Perfect. Until you get in the line there. And then place redstone dust on all these blocks. Perfect. And then over here, we're just going to place a block out like that. A block up in front of it with redstone dust on it. Go up and place a redstone torch on that block. And then a block on top here. And then we finish setting up all our arrow keypads. The next thing we'll be doing is setting up these lamps that lets you know when the arrow is about to appear on the screen. Now what you have to do is go behind the lamps and place three blocks on the top and then have six blocks going out, filling them up with comparators. So each block gets a comparator. Then behind the comparators, you wanna go one block up, break that one, oh, turn that off. And then go back three blocks like this, break these two because you don't need it. And place a dropper facing this way. And have hoppers going into that dropper. So one, two, three, four, five, and then place an egg inside that dropper. And you wanna go behind this hopper there, place a block down like that, go out like one, place comparator facing this way, the block up like that, block down there, break that block, redstone dust on this block, and then redstone torch. Now this is the exact same for all three of these over there. So what we have to do is just complete this three more times and then we'll get on to the next step. Now before you start the next step, what you have to do is just break out a couple blocks at the bottom preferably going three up all the way to get to the end, and then we'll be able to go forward. Now on this one, what we have to do is go down a block, place a block like that, and have a repeater facing that way. And what we're gonna do is build a little repeater tower going downwards, place a block up, break that down, and then keep going down, break that, and then set this repeater to three ticks. And now we just have to place redstone dust and repeat the same thing over and over again until we get to four repeaters. So go down, break a block, place that one, go up, these repeaters are gonna stay at the normal one setting and then we're gonna keep going down. Just repeating the same process. Place a repeater that way. We're at three, so one more repeater. Go down, break it. Go down one more. Perfect, repeater like that with a block in front of it. Now we just place a block under it, break that one, put redstone dust on this block and then go down a block. Out like that, place a repeater, perfect, with a block in front of it, and then put a block down like that, break that one. And on this block, you wanna place a redstone torch, and then extend this all the way to the back until you get right in front of that block. Perfect, so now we go out to the side. And now once that lines up, we place redstone dust on all these blocks. And that's this side done. So now we're just gonna do the uh, orange one out. And then once you finish the orange one, we're gonna do the blue one and the green one. And the blue and the green are the exact same thing as this, just flipped on the other side. So now let's just do the orange one. So we're gonna do the same thing, start at the top, place a block down, have a repeater set to three ticks. Perfect, and then keep going down in the little tower. That, block down, block out to the side, repeater. Block in front of it. So it gets pretty repetitive, but it's pretty easy to do once you've done it a couple times. That, like that, block in front. Oh, I could just done that. Some dust. Making sure that you have four repeaters. So that's number four. So once we get to the fourth repeater, I'm gonna go like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing we did on that side with the red block. So go down, place redstone dust, and then we're gonna go in by one block. So with a repeater and then a block in front of it like that. And now the same thing that we did on that side. So we have to extend this all the way back until we get to the orange block. Perfect. Redstone dust on these blocks and place a redstone torch in front of it. Perfect. So that's this step done. Now what we have to do is complete this, this exact same thing on the other side. So the red one is the same as the green and the orange one is the same as the blue. And once you do that, we'll be able to go forward. So when you finish completing out both sides, what we have to do is just place a note block in front of the redstone torches, oh, just in front, 
This activates once you get the arrow and the keypad on the correct tone. And now under the torches, what you wanna do is place a couple blocks down like that, break that one there, then go all the way out until you get to the other end. So the last torch, the red one. Perfect, now place redstone dust on all these blocks, making sure that we hit each block. And then on the third block here, you wanna just go out one block, place redstone dust, or actually a repeater on this block with a block in front of it, with a redstone torch on that block, and then go out a few blocks. Break that one with redstone dust on this block, and then we're gonna make a little torch tower going up with that there, that there, another torch, a block, and then the torch. Perfect, now it should line up with those hoppers that we placed earlier, so you can just double check by breaking this block. Perfect, so it lines up exactly with this, and now we can move on to the next step. Now we're gonna set up the button they can use to reset the score. So what I did is I broke out the rest of the blocks in that area, and we're gonna come down to where we have this comparator. So you wanna just go out two blocks from there and place comparators on these blocks, just like that. Place a block in front of the comparator with a redstone torch on this block. Then you wanna place a redstone torch on this block with a block on top of it and in front, and then go out until you get to one block past that. You wanna go down, break that block, and place a block here with a redstone repeater on this block into that redstone torch and then dust on this block, this one, this one, this one, this one, so you get to the end and place a block in front of this comparator with a redstone repeater going into that comparator. Now you just have to break out the rest of the blocks in this area to give you more room and then just go out two blocks from that and then another two blocks out and place redstone dust on all these blocks. And then in front of it, you wanna place a block down. Perfect, another one on this side with a redstone repeater set to two ticks and then one on this block to set the normal setting. Have a block going out in front of it with redstone dust on this block, and then go down a block, making sure that it's going into that red block, and place a redstone repeater there. So this is the reset circuit all done. Now what we can do is come to this block in the back, place a block out like that, place a redstone repeater and set it to maybe, let's go three ticks, and then have your note block in front of it, and then another block to the side like that, uh, if I can get it. Perfect, uh, I'll set that to four. And then another one set to two ticks with a note block in front of it. So now when the button uh, gets pressed to get reset, it's gonna play that little tune. And the last thing we have to do is just come up to the top where we have this redstone uh, line there. And this is where our button gets placed. So let's say we're copying this outside pattern. It's gonna go up like this. And then we can place a button on this block. So when we press that, our score gets reset back down to zero. So one of the final steps now is just powering that dropper at the top. So I broke out a few more blocks in the air to give it more room, but all we have to do is now go to the dropper block, place a couple blocks going down until you get in line with this last block and place redstone dust on all these blocks. Then we have to build a torch tower using four different redstone torches. So I like to go all the way down, fix so I have enough blocks, and then break out the torch at the top. So this one is one, two, three, and we have to go down one more block, four, and now we have our torch tower set up for the droppers, and we just got to do this three more times on the rest of the displays here. Now to finish everything off, all we have to do is come under the pressure plates and just place rest and dust on these four blocks, and this is gonna allow us to match up the pressure plate to the arrow when it comes on the screen. And this is pretty much the Dance Dance Revolution machine all done. The last thing we have to do is actually set up the note blocks and the starting button. So for the starting button, it's just a regular old button and I have it set to a couple of repeaters and then that goes into my note block song. So once you build out your note block song, in order to get the arrows to show up on the screen, what I do is I take a signal coming from the note block song and you see it powers a green line and I have to power off this torch tower. So this is a torch tower that gets the dropper started and that's when the arrows show up on the screen. Now this is the same for all the torch towers that we built. So each one of them powers off to get the arrow to show up on the screen. So this is, comes a little bit more of a trial and error now. What you have to do for your song is just find a point where you want the signal and then bring it off to the side and then have it unpower that torch tower. That's why I usually like leaving gaps under it because I can just little put a signal down there, have it going to one green line that powers off and then just to play with the redstone repeater timings to make sure it matches up on the screen. Then after a while, you'll be able to get a song. But what I'll do is I'll go back to my other world where I have the other one and show you how I actually powered off everything. So you can see now I'm in the other world and this is a lot bigger song than the other one I have there, but I'll show you what the bottom looks like. 
So at the bottom, I have all the lines leading out into the sides and they go up and then power off that torch tower that I had in the back. This design's a little bit different than the other one, but it's the same concept. So whenever you want a song to play or an hour to show up on the screen, what you have to do is send a signal off and power off those torch towers that we placed in the back. Now it's gonna be a little bit long to set this up. So what I like to do is actually give one dedicated green line, one dedicated blue line, one dedicated orange line and red line, just to be sure that I don't have everything getting mixed up. But now it just becomes trial and error. So once you build out your song, you can just find points in the song where you wanna take off the signal, have it go off and power off that torch tower. And that's your Dance Dance Revolution machine all done. Uh, but if you have any questions, just let me know. I might be able to make another video just explaining exactly how to power everything off with the torch tower, but it's pretty simple once you get used to it and then just build the song out and everything should be fine. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It's been Tracking25. I'll see you guys in the next video.